What's up everybody? Well today I am here to bring to you another vacuum that is in my vacuum collection. And today I have another Taconi Upright. This one a little bit different than the ones I've been getting recently. What I have for your viewing pleasure today is a Simplicity Freedom sand machine. This is definitely something I've been wanting to add on my list. Not just the fact that this is a high-end version of the Freedom, but I've been wanting to add a Simplicity Freedom to my collection. After getting my hands on a lot of Ricard Super Lights, which those are much more common than these, these Freedoms are basically just the other Ticconi name upright that was sold back in the day at certain vacuum shops. Others would sell Ricards while others would sell Simplicities. I've been definitely wanting to add a Freedom into my collection for keepsake purposes because it's basically just a little bit different in style cues compared to the Ricard Super Light. But the thing I really do like about this one, it's basically the simplicity version of the Ricard Super Light RSL5. This is the high-end machine with the lifetime belt and the metal brush roll. And how I ended up getting this, I actually got this on offer up for very cheap, only like 30 bucks is what I paid for this thing. And which I thought was quite a steal for this thing. Considering how much these equivalent models would go for on websites like eBay. But this actually in the listing wasn't even listed as a Simplicity Freedom. It was listed as just a regular vacuum. There was no specification on this, which would make the search for it a little bit difficult. For those of you who don't know what vacuum you actually want to get. But knowing people like me that have actual knowledge in vacuums, I instantly knew what this vacuum was and what I was getting into it. So what you see here is the vacuum's condition when I got it. Of course, I did have to do a cleanup to it when I got it. I had to completely dust the thing inside and out and also clean out all the buildup on the brush roll. But other than that, this was actually in very good shape when I bought it. And so let's go ahead and give a walkthrough of the machine. So this does have a nice ergonomic handle design for the high-end models. And it does come with a two-speed switch function for the motor. You got low speed and high speed. You also do have a nice long power cord on the back here with interestingly a metal cord clip on the bottom, which is one thing I never understood about these. But then again, I do kind of see that as a nice improvement because usually some cord hooks that are made of plastic can tend to break. So that's one nice thing they, they did there. So as we move along down here, you do have your nice sideways simplicity logo on the front of the outer bag. So you have a little zipper that runs around the top right here to get access to your inner bag. And this right here is the Simplicity F-Type bag. That interestingly, this is the same bag that's been running in the machine since the previous owners had it. Which, admittedly, maybe I would like to change this out. But the thing I love about it is the filtration is so great that this is literally how it was like when I when I bought it. I didn't even have to clean and wash out the outer bag. 
That's just how good these high filtration bags are. So let's go ahead and zip this guy up. And right down here it says high flow HEPA filtration. You have your sand machine logo down there. And as you will notice, the hood design is a little bit different than what you see on the Recar Superlight. As you can see, the headlight lens on this is just an ordinary composite headlight lens versus the clear headlight lens that has a bit more curvature to it on the super light. But anyway, you also do have your lifetime belt labeling right there and your nice freedom labeling right here, which I'm going to be perfectly honest. I have no idea why Simplicity named these the freedom. I definitely do understand the name for super light for the Recar version, but why freedom? What, is it like the freedom from having to lift a heavy upright vacuum? Which that I do kind of see, but I just think that's kind of a bizarre name choice for one, for one of these vacuums. But that's just my little nitpick about that. So let's go ahead and show you the underside to the cleaner. So this here is its all metal brush roll with replaceable brush strips. And the bristles are incredibly stiff. That is one thing I really love about these Taconi uprights is that they got incredibly stiff brush, brush strips. So they definitely do good for carpet agitation for getting deep down in. But if there's one thing I do not like about this particular brush roll in this, and that is how the bristle design is. If you will notice, the suction channel for this is actually down here. And the only thing I don't like about that is the bristle design directs the dirt away from the suction channel. Which I do not know why. Even the lower end models with the wooden brush roll form a a chevron pattern that funnels everything into that suction pad. Whereas these metal brush rolls, for whatever reason, don't. In reality, this is definitely due to Taconi just copying and pasting the design of their brush rolls that they've used since the early Clean Air Uprights, the two series, the four series, the eight series, and the And the Simplicity 7 series, the 4 series, the Recar Vibrance, and the Simplicity Symmetry, any of those uprights I can't think of off the top of my hand. They just basically took that brush roll design and adapted it for the Simplicity Freedom and the, the Recar Superlight. But that's just a minor nitpick. And the agitation on this is still incredible. For all we know, it could probably have enough airflow to pull everything into the suction path. So anyway, the bottom plate does hold on by the, the little plastic clips here on the bottom that can be pulled out to remove it as such. And here is the, the lifetime belt for the thing. It actually turns a little Hall effect sensor down in there and what that does is it actually detects the spinning brush roll and as you will notice right over here is a little indicator light that will show that there is a blockage or a jam in the brush roll if you pick up something like say a shoestring or anything large it will actually start blinking and shut the motor off to protect any damage from the motor and or the belt. So that is one clever thing with this design. So anyway, let's go ahead and show you the model number to the cleaner. This is the Simplicity model F3700.sand. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 5.5 amps, 
which that may seem small when you consider the fact that the Auric XLs, those use a 4 amp motor, which 1.5 amps less, but it's not the amperage to these that make a good performing vacuum. It more so has to do with the, for one, the physical size of the motor, which this one is larger than the ones on used on the Auric, but also the fan is different design and is also much larger. And also given to the fact that the fill tube in this is large as well to provide much better suction and airflow, as well as better carpet agitation with this brush roll, to basically have unparalleled cleaning performance that will definitely out-clean any auric. So anyway, this is made in the USA with globally sourced components. And the serial number for this, if I'm reading the serial date correctly, if anyone knows how to serial this, please chime in. But I want to say this was made in February of 2012. Again, chime in below if I'm reading the serial for this correctly. Which this is interestingly a lot newer than I remembered. I know this design dates from the mid to late 2000s. But it's just interesting to find out that this is from 2012. So let's go ahead and tip this guy back up. Right here is its view from the back. And with that, let's go ahead and give you a little running demo of this. So anyway, just go ahead and twist this quick release cord hook on the top here. And the cord is very long. I would have to say this is probably somewhere in like 36 foot range. So it's incredibly long. So we'll go ahead and plug this guy in. And we will go ahead and turn this thing on and give you a demo of this machine running. So we're gonna start it off on low speed, then we'll work it into high speed. So here is low speed. And here is high speed. It runs very nice. So let's go ahead and get to the cleaning demo of this.
This thing runs very nice. And don't let the small, compact, lightweight appearance of this machine fool you. This thing packs quite a punch. Well, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Simplicity Freedom Sand Machine. Be sure and stay tuned, and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.